Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to another battle on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Wow, this is really taking more time than I had intended it to, but oh well. The nice thing about this guy is that you can draw uh, Blizzard spells from him, so we want to do that before we uh, get to the end here. We're getting pretty close, so wait for Squall to come up there. There we go. And draw the last spell there, which is Blizzard. He's the only guy in this area that we can draw a blizzard from. So it's a good idea to get at least seven. Probably want to get a little more for Keistus there. And stop correcting my pronunciation, viewers. Uh, and then I'll have uh, Squall um, uh, start taking this guy out. The thing with most of the enemies at this point in the game is that they're pretty easy to kill with just your physical attacks. I mean, some people have been saying, why haven't I been doing this and this or that or whatever? You don't really need to. You know, I mean, for right now, this is good enough. So let's just leave well enough alone. All right, there we go. Let's get a move on, then. I think that's everything we can do here. Oh, the music cut out on me. Oh, no, no, it's supposed to, but... Uh, well, thanks for the compliment, Keistus. But before moving on ahead, Shiva has not learned to boost yet. Oh, well. Let's move her to uh, Strength Junction for the battle ahead here. And config... Set the ATB to active, like I forgot to do last time. Oh well. If you have more time, maybe use some cures or potions to heal up. Whatever. But, well, I'm getting short on time here, so. I'm just going through the dialogue quickly because I gotta get ready for boss time! Got pretty cool boss music for this game, so. There we go. Gee, I did not see this guy coming in a fire cavern. What a shot. Whip his ass, Keistus. So use Blizzard, and I'm just going to use Shiva once, just to get a little dialogue. But really, Blizzard is the way to go. It takes the least amount of time to get, and to use to deal some good damage. So, I mean, you can be a lot more powerful than I am at this point, but it takes a long time to do. So, I think this is just, you know, the, the fastest way you can go for right now. So, that's pretty much my goal, to get as powerful as possible, as quickly as possible in this game. Uh, Ifrit also has cure spells, so if for some reason you really start taking some damage, uh, you can just, uh, what is it, I just fast forward through that, but, uh, you can just draw cure spells from Ifrit. So you basically really can't lose this boss fight, really. If you have a lot more time than I have right now, you could also even just take some time. Just draw some extra cure spells. Why not? You know, because, I mean, I I haven't had the opportunity to do so yet. I haven't run into any enemies that I can draw a cure from yet. There are some enemies in the forest outside that I can draw a cure from, but I never uh, found them. Or, well, I was trying to show the tutorial battle that Keistus gives you here. Now, at my level, Ifrit has about 1,000 HP. I want to get him down to less than 100 uh, as quickly as possible. Now, the interesting thing about this part of the boss fight is that... Uh, what is it? Uh, with the exam that you're taking here, for whatever reason, your score will be dependent on how little time you have left at the end of the battle, which is like, I don't know why they would care about that. It, they say it like reflects on your judgment or something. I don't know. So basically, you want to finish the battle, from what I've heard, with seven seconds or less. Well, that struck a nerve. Ow. Let's see, another pair of blizzard spells, and then I want to see how uh, Ifrit's doing. Ifrit also has the scan spell, although I did draw some earlier. But you can scan him to see how much HP he has left. So that way I know I'm like this far from finishing him off. So that's pretty handy for this particular battle. I like it when they make the scan spell actually useful. Like in Final Fantasy IV DS. Or I've heard it's pretty useful in Final Fantasy XIII. But I, I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. I got my PS3 just recently. But uh... Well, I'm busy doing other things right now. I'll get to it soon enough. Let's see, we have 128 HP. Okay, two more blizzards. Ought to take them out. There we go. Last one. 
Yeah, that's the thing with drawing magic that, I mean, I'm okay with drawing. That's not my beef with the game. But it really minimalizes strategy in the game because you can just get a ton of spell charges and you never have to manage your abilities at all. It's like you just use your most powerful thing over and over and over and over again. And, you know, why bother, you know, using any amount of strategy at all with casting magic? Fortunately, magic really sucks in this game. Okay, come on, get through the dialogue, get through the dialogue, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Ifrit! Did I make it? Yes! Yes! I made it! Woohoo! Zero seconds left! You gotta get the victory music to start before it hits triple zeros. Woohoo! <laughs> and we get Ifrit's card, our first rare card in the game, or a unique card. It's very powerful. So that's pretty nice. And we get nuts. No, we do not get nuts. Uh, there we go. We get Ifrit, our next uh, guardian for us. All right. <sighs> yeah, and like most bosses in the game, you only get ability points. You do not get any experience. That's why I changed Shiva's abilities around there. So that way, because I didn't want that extra ability points to get to use. Or go to waste. Waste, that is. So there we go. And she's just telling us about elemental junctioning and things like that. But that's not for really to worry about for a long time. So, okay, now the timer's done, so we're okay. So I'm just going to walk outside and uh, meet you out there then. All right, we made it out of the fire cavern. Where'd those faculty guys go? I thought they were going to, like, congratulate me. You weren't that bad after all. Now, now they don't really compliment you. Now, on the way out, I learned some new abilities. I learned uh, Boost for Shiva. When you learn a new ability, uh, the game will automatically, by default, set it to whatever the next one is, like Summon Magic or whatever. I don't care about that. We want to move on to Strength Junction, so whenever you learn a new ability, make sure to set the next one that you want to learn. Uh, let's see, the other thing was with uh, Kezakotl, if you learn the card ability, like you did some grinding or whatever, you can card bombs in the fire cavern, which can be pretty good for playing cards, because they're like a level five or level four card. So that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna do that, but that's something that you can do. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, I with equipping my GFs now, I equipped Ifrit on uh Kistis alone there, and then moved Kezakotl over to Squall there. You can equip multiple summons or GFs on the same person, but then the experience gets split between the two or something like that. Uh, the ability points are the same, but the experience dilutes. And you really want Ifrit to get up to level 10 as quickly as possible, because it unlocks another ability that I want to get. So before heading back to Balam Garden, let's head on over to the town of Balam. Check it out before we go on to our real mission. Can I make it to the beach? There we go. A lot of people have been telling me about the beach here. I, I'm very much aware of what you can do here. But, I mean, these guys, they do give a lot of ability points. I mean, that is true. But, well, I'm just I'm really not that interested. It, it takes, you really have to go out of your way. Now, the thing is, you can barely see the guys here. But when you hit them, I think it's something like a 50% chance that they'll pop out of the ground there or something like that. So basically that's what I'm trying to do. Once you get them to pop out of the ground like that, because right now all you're seeing is their fins under the ground there. There we go, you see it popped up. Now we can like deal a lot more damage to it. So I want to get them both out of there. There we go. So that way I can, well, take them out. I think while they're in the ground, they're weak to uh, earth elemental attacks. But when they're above ground, they're weak to thunder, I think. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how it works. There we go. So yeah, let's show off Kezakotl while we're at it. And get another thunder spell on the other one, if I can. Come on, thunder. There we go. Got it. And we're running a little low on time. So let's just show off uh, the Kezakotl summon here. I'll show off boost later. Don't worry about it. But anyway, with these guys, you can win a particular item from them called, I think it's a fish fin, and you can refine that into water spells, which I know, I've, I'm very much aware of that. 
but it takes too long to get enough of them for it to be really useful. I mean, even at best, it'll boost your strength by like 20 if you junction to it, but I mean, that's really not that big of a difference for me. If only there were a way that we could increase our strength by over a hundred with minimal effort! <laughs> Don't worry, viewers. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> and yeah, you see we got a lot of ability points there, and I'll just make it over to Balam there. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!